News Talk 710 KURV. Audio on demand. News Talk 710 KURV. And now, commentary with Roxanne Garcia. Let's flashback Friday to something that I've been wanting to get off my chest. It happened back in June, but I read something today that brought it back up. During President Obama's reaction speech to the Supreme Court ruling on immigration, there were two things he said that stood out. One, Obama mentioned that the 4-4 tie on the decision to block Obama's immigration plan that sought to shield millions living in the U.S. illegally from deportation was, in part, one of the consequences of the Republicans' failure to give a fair hearing to Mr. Garland, his nominee to the Supreme Court. Let's flash back to 2006, when then-Senator Obama was singing to a different tune in filibustering President George W. Bush's Supreme Court nominee of Samuel Alito. Funny how things change when you're sitting in the White House. The other thing Obama said was, we don't have a Congress that is willing to do even the basic jobs under the Constitution, which is to consider these nominations. He continued to say that Republicans in Congress are willfully preventing the Supreme Court from fully being staffed and functioning as our founders intended. There it is. As our founders intended. Dare I remind you, President Obama, the founders never intended anyone to take any of our rights away, including the one you hate the most, our Second Amendment. So don't talk to us about upholding the Constitution or what our founding fathers, quote, intended when your so-called progressive party is trying to take some of our rights away. If it wasn't for double standards, liberals wouldn't have any. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or ownership of News Talk 710 KURV and our communications station.